I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a very interesting question to estimate area under a curve. The question here is, estimate area under the curve y equals to x square minus 2x plus 2 from x equals to 0 to x equals to 6 with three non-overlapping inscribed rectangles of equal width on the x-axis. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so we have a curve which is x square minus 2x plus 1. Let us take some values to sketch this curve first. So what I will do here is that I just make table of values and will quickly uh, plot or calculate some values, right? So using the calculator. So let us say uh, we have x values as and the y values. So we can take x values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? So if I substitute the value 0 in my equation, I get 2, right? So that's easy. Let me write down. If I substitute 1, I get 1 minus 2 plus 2, which is 1, right? And let me use calculator now onwards. If I substitute 3, I get 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 2 and that gives me 5 and if I substitute 4 so I replace 3 with 4 okay so I replace 3 with 4 in my equation and uh, and the value becomes 10 now if I substitute 4 uh, what happened uh, that one was 4 so 10 is for 4 okay so 10 is for 4 okay let me just change this okay now now we'll see what was for 3 I didn't really write it okay that means 3 and uh, let me go back change it to 3 what was this 5 so I wrote it wrong okay so so for 3 it was 5 let's see what was for 2 then okay delete 2 and here we go delete 2 and it is equals to 2 okay so this was 2 correct so now we'll substitute 5 and 6 and find the answer so we have 5 5 equals to 17 and for 6 okay 6 6 what do we get we get 26 okay so we get 26 for 6. So we have a parabola which seems to have a vertex at 1, which is very clear from here also. You could find vertex using completing the squares or b equals to, I mean, x equals to minus b by 2a will give you the vertex, right? So that is the vertex for us. Okay. With these values, uh, let me sketch the parabola approximately. So, so what we have, these are very large values. Uh, so we'll take let's say two one. So we have a parabola which is uh, kind of like this. Let me just approximate now. Okay, kind of like this. So I'm not making the scale here, but these values at zero I'll make write down two, right? So this is at two, and let's say uh, the value which is here is uh, the bottommost. Let's say this is one, right? So let's go with this one. So we get two. 3, 4, 5, and let's say 6, right? So, so that becomes our rectangle. That means I have to extend it further. Okay. okay, let's go back. Now, the question is, estimate area under this curve from x equals to 0 to 6 with three non-overlapping inscribed rectangles. So we have to make three rectangles. Uh, three rectangles means the width should be two, right? So since we have to make three rectangles, then width should be six minus zero divided by three. So we have uh, two as the width. So the rectangles will be of width two. So let me just make rectangles from here. So we have rectangles, this, and then, then the last one here. So these are the three rectangles. Since they are inscribed, it says 
estimate area under this curve from 0 to 6 with three non-overlapping inscribed angles of equal width. Okay, now it says estimate area under the curve. So, so now the idea is that uh, these are inscribed between this, between these two portions. That means we cannot go out. So, how do I sketch these rectangles? That's a big question, right? So, the idea is to we cannot go outside, so we have this restriction. Our rectangles could be like this. Do you see that? So I think that is how we are going to sketch our rectangles. So, so these are our rectangles. Because if I take the right side, it is going to go out, right? So if I take even the left side here, it is going to go out. So, so that becomes my combination. Do you get an idea? So it's kind of tricky. So we have to stick under the curve and between these two. So the area which we are talking about is this area, right? This area we are talking about. Is that correct? No. So these are three rectangles. We already know their height and width. And we can add it up to find the area. So I think with this diagram, it makes things simpler to understand. Okay. Otherwise, it's a very, very tricky question. Now, so area of these rectangles is equals to the first one, what is the height? So maximum height is, is actually, you see this is the lowest point, so it has to be 1, right? So for the first one, it is width is 2. So we know width for each delta x is equals to 2. So the height is 2 times the value of this function at, at 1. So let me write value of function at 1. That is what it is. For the other one, value of function as 2, right? So let's say 2 is the width times value of function at 2. And for the third one, we are taking 2 as the width and value of the function at 4. Do you see that? So that is how we are finding the height of these rectangles. And this table now helps, right? So we have 2 times value of function at 1 is 1 plus 2 times value of function 2 is 2 plus 2 times value of function 4 is 10, right? So that gives us 2 plus 4 plus 20 and that is 6 plus 20, 26 units square. So that is how you could actually find area of these inscribed rectangles under the given curve, right? So remember, in such cases, we cannot take left side or the right side because left side here will go outside this curve, right? And the right side will go outside for these two rather all of them. So we could not take that. So that is a very strategic question and I hope it helps you to understand the concept. So that is how we should be doing such questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and if you like put some likes. Thank you and all the best.